Italy possesses one of the greatest cultural heritages in the world, with its cities of art, landscape, museums, archaeological sites, libraries and archives. The Ministry for Cultural Heritage and Activities and Tourism is responsible for developing these riches, also in consideration of the fact that the demand for cultural tourism is in continuous growth throughout the world and represents one of the most important segments of the European tourist market. The Italian Ministry for Cultural Heritage and Activities and for Tourism is in charge of the Archaeomedsites project. The project is co-financed by the European Union as part of the EMPI CBC Mediterranean Sea Basin Programme 2007 to 2013 for a total of 1,793,806 million euros and will run until the 31st of December 2015. Italy, Tunisia and Lebanon, through their respective Ministry for Cultural Heritage and Activities and for Tourism, National Institute for the Heritage and the Lebanese Ministry for Culture, are the active partners in this project that will involve other European and Mediterranean countries. The Italian component was set up bearing in mind the complexity of the procedures to be activated and the competences both of the state and the local bodies. The institutional framework is completed by a qualified grouping of parties defined as associate partners. These are the bodies and institutions who will not be beneficiaries of the initiatives but who will place their skills and knowledge at the disposal of the project partners and the target groups. The principal objective of the Archaeomed Sites project is that of contributing to the socio-economic development of the area of the Mediterranean Sea Basin, reinforcing institutional collaboration between the two shores, raising awareness and involving civil society in the respective territories from a viewpoint of exchange and sharing objectives and strategies. The project is articulated in numerous activities, developing a common strategy, communication, sustainability of the project and divulgation of the best practices, institutional development and training, analysis of the possibilities for local development on the basis of the cultural heritage, divulgation and raising awareness among public and private cultural and tourist operators, creation of consultation networks for public and private operators, The archaeological sites and urban contexts involved in the project are Pestum and Velia in Campania, Tuviceddu, Cagliari, Carbonia and Montesirai in Sardinia, Kerkuan and Carthage in Tunisia, Tyre City and Tyre Albas in Lebanon. Some of these sites are among the list of 1,007 UNESCO World Heritage Sites, in which Italy is the country with the largest number of entries. Italy was the first among the 190 member states to pass a law in favour of UNESCO sites, Law 77 of 2006, whose early results, seven years on, were described in the Law 77-2006 White Paper, which offers a synthesis of the activities of management and development carried out at the Italian UNESCO sites between 2007 and 2012.
The Archaeomed Sites project is pursuing, among others, the objective of raising awareness in civil society as regards the importance of national cultural heritage and spreading the concept of safeguarding and making the most of the richness that, first of all, appertains to the individual country, but which has to be extended to the rest of the Mediterranean Sea Basin. Management, safeguarding and development represent the two directions on which are articulated the various institutional activities. Safeguarding the historic and artistic heritage guarantees the protection and conservation of the assets in the public interest, protects the memory of the national community and its territory, and promotes the development of culture. In very general terms, the conservation of the cultural heritage is ensured by a coherent and coordinated activity of study, prevention, maintenance and restoration. The development of the heritage instead seeks to incentivize all those activities that are useful in promoting knowledge of the national heritage and improving its conditions of utilization and fruition on the part of increasingly varied and numerous users. The concept of development, therefore, includes all those services aimed at the promotion of the artistic and natural heritage, traditions, knowledge and national creativity that have characterized Mediterranean culture over the centuries. The urban context in which areas of cultural interest exist also proves to be a source of culture and diverse resources, which, if knowingly developed and used, reinforce the tourism potential of the area from a viewpoint of a perfect synergy between contemporary urban reality and archaeological site. Even if the areas involved in the AMS project are present with a number of differences relative to both the different national situations and within the same geographic area, all the sites can become the subject of a study aimed at obtaining systems and guidelines for intervention to which other similar sites around the Mediterranean will be able to refer in the near future. This will contribute to enlarging the network of communication and sharing of proper methods, to obtain greater knowledge of cultural heritage and a greater possibility of tourism promotion in each area.